Hello everyone and welcome back to Shardcast. Today is episode 14. Hope y'all are doing a wonderful day. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Black History Month, a little bit about our canned food drive we're doing here, a little bit about human facts, and our big interview is going to be Miss Holloman. Ooh, and we are also going to talk about our Annie play. This is Addison once again. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye! Good morning, Sandersville Sharks. The primary talent pool leadership students are hosting a food drive for God's Pantry. God's Pantry is an organization where you can donate food to people in need. It is located in central and eastern Kentucky. The food drive started yesterday, February 13th, and ends on March 24th. There are three blue barrels to put food donations in. Two barrels are in the front lobby and one barrel is in the back hallway across from the cafeteria. Our school is participating in this food drive challenge. There will be a $500 prize to the winning schools in each division and size group. You do not have to donate, but it would be well appreciated. We want to give a big shout out to Siga Darvo. We want to thank her for being the first person to donate food items. And thank you to the families who have already donated on the virtual food drive link. There are two ways to donate. You can bring food from home and place it in the blue barrels, or you can click on the link that Mr. Marsh set on Class Dojo dojo, and donate there. We have put signs on the barrels for food donation ideas. These are the God's Pantry's most needed items. We will be giving reminders throughout the six-week food drive process. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Let's go Sharks. This week we continue talking about Black History Month. Jesse Owens. He was born in 1913 and passed away in 1980. Owens was a track and field athlete who set a world record in the long jump at 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin. In 1976, Owens received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Benjamin Davis, born 1877, died 1970. Benjamin Davis was the first black general in the U.S. Army. He served for 50 years. He received the Bronze Star Medal and the Distinguished Service Medal and is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Frederick Jones, he was born in 1893. And, di- and died in 1961. Frederick Jones was an orphan at a young age and raised by his Catholic priest until he dropped out of school at the age of 11. After a range of odd jobs, he became a janitor in the auto industry, eventually starting work as an auto mechanic, teaching himself electronics until he was drafted into World War One. After the war, Jones returned to work on, on it on and inventing machines, building a transmitter for his town's new radio system in the process. One day while driving, he thought up an idea of a system that could keep food cool and fresh while in the car. This idea led to a patent for a vehicle refrigeration system. Hello, Shotcast listeners. I'm Rajne, and I'll be telling you two more amazing facts about the human body. There is anywhere between 60,000 and 100,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body. If they were taken out and land end to end, they would be long enough to travel around the world more than three times. Teeth are considered part of the skeletal system, but are not counted as bones. Bye, Shotcast listeners. Have a great rest of your day. Welcome everyone, I'm your host Sophia. I'm Kanan. I'm Axel. And today we are going to be interviewing Miss Holloman. <laughs> How was your day, Miss Holloman? It was fantastic. Um, I got a real quick question. Mm-hmm. How long have you been teaching? So I've been teaching for ooh, about six, seven years now. That's cool. Yeah. Have you been teaching like in this school for six, seven years or like in another school? No. So this is my fourth year at Sainersville. I've been, I taught in another school, fourth grade, and then I taught three-year-olds for a year. 
Quick throw in. She's my. She was my old lunch lady in third grade. <laughs> <laughs> I helped with your lunch. I was not your lunch lady. <laughs> mm. Mm, uh, could I real quick ask about your kids? Um, my student kids or my like at home kids. Nice. Which one? <laughs> um, <laughs> you're at home. My at home. I don't have any children. I have two dogs. Those are my children. <laughs> they get treats and they go for walks. They run around in my backyard. All my money goes towards them. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you feel about teaching? Uh, do you teach the first or second? I teach first grade. How do you feel about that? Like, I love my kids. My students are amazing. My teammates are amazing. Huge shout out to Miss Miles, Miss Oakley, Miss Squire, Miss Smith, and our awesome person, Miss Wade, who helps us. Amazing. Tell us about your family. So my family, we're, I'm born and raised here in Lexington, Kentucky. I have two brothers, have an older brother and a little brother. And my dad just retired for being a doctor. And my mom is thinking about retiring as a doctor. What is it like wow. teaching young kids like in school? Well, you have to have a lot of flexibility. Um, they make the best jokes ever. I'm pretty sure you guys are all funny, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So little kids are even funnier because they think everything is funny. <laughs> so. I believe that we all had a good day. I believe that. I don't <laughs> know, but we might have all had a good day. You know, <coughs> I got a real qu quick question about your kids, a.k.a. your two dogs. Okay. What, are the, uh, what are the names? So my oldest is Riley. She is an Australian cattle dog um, mix, probably with Terrier. Um, she's the sweetest little thing. She's like 25 pounds, wants to be attached to your hip, um, loves to chase after squirrels and raccoons. Um, and then my young one, she's about eight months old. Her name's Luna, and she's a border collie mix. And I just got her in September. Well, so uh, cool. What breed are they? Um, so Riley is an Australian cattle dog, really tiny, fits in your lap. And then Luna is a growing border collie mix. That sounds so cute. I know. <laughs> um, so tell us about your ongoing rock, paper, scissors game with Mr. Shouse. <laughs> so that started um, last year. We were um, helping <laughs> to interview um, future teachers to work at Sandersville. And just like Mr. Shouse probably teaches you to always be respectful. So we were going back and forth about who would start. So that was the original competition right there. And every time we see each other in the hallway, um, we do a rock, paper, scissors. And yeah, um, Mr. Shouse does try his very best. <laughs> Who has always won? That's my quick question. Who has always won? <laughs> Out of respect, I... <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> it's not I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What would you call a perfect vacation or a perfect day at home? Ooh. Um, so a perfect day at home is just kind of relaxing, probably watching some shows on TV, hanging out with friends, with my dogs. Um, I love to cook, so I've been... Um, trying to increase what I have in my kitchen at my house um, and just kind of cooking what makes me feel comfortable and excited for. Um, perfect vacation. Man, I haven't taken a vacation in a long time. So probably to go see some of my friends who have moved away. Um, I haven't seen some of them in a while, so that would be kind of nice to go see them. What are some of your personal hobbies? So I love to cook. I've always loved to cook, even growing up. Um, I've gotten into like furniture repairs almost. So I find kind of some old pieces on the side of the road or hand me downs from friends. And I either fix them up, repaint them, repurpose them. And so kind of my house is like a big mismatch of random stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what are you streaming on like Netflix or on TV? Netflix. Or, like something. Ooh. So I've been, like, re-watching shows, which sounds kind of weird, but 
I just recently bought a new TV, which is like 50, 55 inches. And for the longest time, I know, it's amazing. <laughs> but for the <laughs> longest time, I was watching TV on, like, on a little 20-inch that I got back in when I was like junior high for my dad as a Christmas present. <laughs> and my dad came over around Christmas and was like, or around the holidays, and he was like, is that the TV I bought you like 10 years ago? Yes, Dad, <laughs> that is the same TV. So I've just been rewatching it because it's all new for me. It's bigger. It's better. Um, the jokes are still the same. Yeah, I, I get that totally. <laughs> I got a monitor. And what about you guys? What are you guys streaming? Um, I mostly just watch anime all the time. Anime. I haven't had a chance to watch TV since my dad hogs it to play video games, and then I can't watch it in the weekdays, and then on the weekends, my dad's still hogging it. So, you know, never. <laughs> Same. Not really watching anything. So relatable. <laughs> Axel? Um, you, it's like, it's a show called You. I saw my mo parent, uh, mom watching it. I was like, oh, it looks interesting, so... It's kind of weird, though. <laughs> <laughs> weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what other jobs would you want to do in the school, if you could? In the school? Oh. Um, so I've helped Miss Pittman um, before with Miss Deep when my very first year here. And then I also helped Miss Snow for a year, which was amazing. But if I could do anything in the school, oh, I really don't know what I would do. I think I would be lost without a classroom and a group of kids to lead. <laughs> um, so back to personal hobbies, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, what type of books are you reading? So right now, um, I just got a big stack of kind of like mystery books. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, heart mystery. Really? Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, so it's been interesting going through this. So this have year. you ever read Nancy Drew? Mm-hmm. I sure. My have. mom has started getting me into that. I can't find the sixth book at the libraries. It's like, mm. maybe she got me the starter set, and it's like never can find the sixth book. <laughs> never. Talking about uh, hobbies, what are some of your personal hobbies? Um, so I have been, so I bought a house back in 2020. Um, and so I've been like redoing a lot of stuff in my house and kind of fixing things up because it's pretty old, um, about 30 years old. So things are kind of <laughs> bit in the dust up there a bit, but that's been kind of my ongoing project. Do we really ask that question? Yes, you did. Oh, Canon that's okay. Because oh, well, yeah. oh, you favorite. know what? There's always more to learn, right? Yeah. What's your favorite part about teaching? Um, definitely the kids. Definitely um, my class every year has been amazing. My families have been amazing. The school in and in itself, all the staff have been just out there. And we have a lot of fun, right, Mr. Schaus? <laughs> he says yes. <laughs> type of a kid were you in school? Ooh, so I was the quiet one. I was, <laughs> I was the one <laughs> that would just sit there and stare to the point Shush. that my teachers were like worried that I wouldn't speak. What? Yes. And Seriously? So, yeah. So. You seem so active and then you're I little know. and then you're like, shush, I'm not talking. Yeah. I'm not talking. <laughs> So yeah, Definitely. so but I was I was that easygoing kid that all the teachers wanted, but were like I guess that somewhat annoyed with because would never speak. <laughs> I've always tried to be the quiet kid, and I, my energy and my ADHD could not do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you watch any sports? Okay, so don't hate me. I don't. <laughs> I don't either. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so. This is a question that Parker usually asks, mm -hmm. but since he's not in here, I'm going to ask it for him. And I know you don't watch sports, but still. Um, do you have any favorite football teams? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can watch sports. It's not like my go-to thing. So if a friend, like a group of my friends are getting together to watch the Super Bowl, like I always tag along. But it's more of just like seeing my friends than actually seeing what's going on on the TV. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, do you have any friends that have a favorite football team? I don't think I really asked them those questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are some of your favorite foods? Like Ooh. Um, I love popcorn. It's like the best snack ever. Um, at home, growing up, we would always have like a popcorn bowl. So when I moved out, my mom gave me my popcorn bowl <laughs> that I had forever as a child. So it's my popcorn bowl. And it's green for some weird reason. <laughs> um, love popcorn. I'm like a huge chicken person. Um, Definitely have to go for a Diet Coke with mm. both of those. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. That's my dad's favorite. <laughs> um, going back to the food process that we just went through, um, do you have a favorite place to eat? Ooh. Um, that would have to be my couch. I, I do have a dining <laughs> table, I promise. <laughs> um, I, I'm asking, like, where do you want to eat? Like outside. Oh, outside. <laughs> <laughs> outside your house. <laughs> like a restaurant? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought if you meant like if I walked into your house, where would you be eating? Okay, my favorite restaurant. Um, <laughs> Chick fil A. <laughs> um, McDonald's. <clears throat> Quidova, Drake. My brother and you might get along with McDonald's. He's a <laughs> McDonald's fan. We actually had that after he came back from his first hospital trip, but you know. Yeah. Well, that's good. Then he went back. So. Mm. Mm. It's oh. awkward <laughs> silence. <laughs> it's like. Oh, I thought Tanner was going to go. Um. <laughs> Um, let's play a game. Would you rather? Ooh. Okay. Um, so would you rather do Coke or Pepsi? Diet Coke. Coffee or tea? Coffee, definitely. Mountains or beach? Mountains. Yeah. Dang it. I burn, guys. I burn. <laughs> <laughs> a good steak or a good salad? I swear that. Neither a good I swear chicken. That question keeps coming up in every single one. Morning or night? Morning. Exercise or sleep? A little bit of both, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Hot or cold? Cold. McDonald's oh. or Wendy's? Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> um, watch or listen? Listen. I mean, you'd be listening to this after we're done. Absolutely. So. I have like a whole after party fan club listening in afterwards. Seriously? <laughs> I can make it happen. On her couch. <laughs> on my couch. <laughs> in her living room. In my living room. herself. <laughs> with my popcorn bowl, okay? Okay. <laughs> gotta add Don't the forget to bowl. invite me. <laughs> Maybe some Diet Coke with that, too. <laughs> <laughs> and my two dogs. Can't forget about them. Movies or series? Probably a series. That depends um, on what movie or series. Book or TV show? book okay you like me mm -hmm. duh <laughs> um comics or books like fiction books Ooh, i haven't read a good comic in a while so i'll probably have to go with a fiction book would you rather uh be able to breathe underwater or fly probably fly Talk Not about a, that. A big underwater <laughs> person. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Have you watched that? Um, oh, oh my God! I just interrupt their game of Would You Rather. That's oh fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Have you watched the Wakanda Forever? I have not. <gasps> you should I'm definitely. Highly watch offended it. now. Me no, too. Well, it don't was be the offended. best movie okay. ever. <laughs> so again. Got my new big giant TV and was like, you know what I need to do is I need to rewatch all the Marvel movies in order. Because, you know, first time seeing it, duh. Big Seriously. Yeah. So I stopped at, like, Yoki's. Not Yoki. What am I talking about? Um, Loki. Well, Loki's. 
like series, that's mm-hmm. where I'm at. I love it. It's, Skip it's coming. that and then go to Wakanda. Wait, are, okay. are you on? Uh, <laughs> you're watching that on Disney, right? Yes. Yeah, you could watch uh, Wakanda on Disney for free. Okay, it was no. like the best movie ever, ever. Really? Okay. So after the after party, of this Wakanda forever. Yeah. Okay. So talk totally. about that. I know exactly what I'm spending my evening doing. <laughs> so I think Mr. Shaw <clears throat> sends it out on Fridays. I think so. It might have to be tomorrow. Oh, today, this afternoon, I guess sometime. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh He's yeah, like, that's oh. true. He does it once. For, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you just spoil. Well, talk about like heroes. Who is your favorite superhero or hero? Oh, I might have several. Um, definitely love Captain Marvel. I think she's super awesome. Can't go wrong with Superman, Captain America. Just they're all amazing, I think. Uh, what is your favorite holiday? <sighs> Ooh, that's a hard one. Oh no. I think we all know this question. Yeah. There's only one right answer. There yeah. is? Yeah. 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 What is it? Christmas. 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 Well, well, oh. She's an adult. Not all adults <laughs> receive presents now. It's not for the caring <laughs> and sharing. No, the, well, pre- the well, adults well, still get well, presents yeah, from other people. <laughs> Axel! Oh, you just do you not give your, do you well, not give your mom presents? <laughs> how am I going to do that? I can't. Like, you buy it! I'll have to order online and then, like. You could buy it at the store. Or yeah, someone else could take Chris- you. On Christmas, on Christmas Eve, doesn't all stores close or something like that? I think Christmas. so. Yeah. I know. When just go shopping. I'm not for sure. her before Christmas. <laughs> I don't have a driver's I'm not. license yet. <laughs> then get someone else get to do dad. it. Get your dad. Get your mom. Get a friend. <laughs> You're buying the present. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're having a highly disgusted argue. You. Okay, let's skip that. Oh, okay. <laughs> What are some of your personal hobbies? Wait a second. <laughs> oh my gosh, is it their time? <laughs> Can we just like insert the clip from before there? <laughs> oh my god. We can- repeated the question. It's fine. Three I can times. Come up. Let's see here. What's some more hobbies of mine? <laughs> Gardening. I love to garden. There oh. you go. I mean, your shirt has flowers on it. It does right have now. flowers. Okay. So. I'm going to ask a different question since okay. I, I we just re- <laughs> repeated that question like for no reason. What type of music do you listen to? I kind of go everywhere for music. So I can do like hip-hop, country, like a little R&B, pop. Same. Do you know any famous musicians? Yes. He's right there. I know. That's oh. who I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost okay. kind of awful not to say, no, oh. I don't know anybody. It's He's Mr. Right Shouse. There. It's Mr. Shouse. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's Mr. Shouse. Have, you ever, totally been, Mr. have Shouse. you ever been out of the country? I have not. I want to. I haven't. She wants to. I want to. Like she I said, I haven't been to. on a vacation in a long time. She doesn't have to. She wants to, people. I need she to get my passport to. first. Passport. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> Is that a new sound effect that you're going to add in? <laughs> going, back to one of the, going back to one of the would you rather questions, uh-huh. if you could have any uh, one power, what would it be? Ooh. Making like things like appear or disappear. Oh, so like a creator, like a creator of things. Yeah, like if I wanted my dogs here, I could go, and they would be oh. here. And then if Mr. Marsh walked in, I could go, and they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, a mu- so a musician, a real life musician. <laughs> and That's as I one. say this, he's probably gonna come into my room and make sure that my dogs aren't there. <laughs> mm, yeah. What are some things you find <laughs> annoying? Um, I find this annoying. Really? See, I'm a, I'm a pin clapper. Me too. And I'm I mean, a tapper. I mean, I also do. I, I, I am also a tapper. <laughs> but I have friends in my class, and this is my teacher's highly offensive. She thinks it's annoying. Mm-hmm. Um, she thinks the uh, that um, automatic pen things, mm-hmm. like when you're playing with it, she's like, mm. stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh. See, I think it's 
annoying when your like your favorite pen like runs out, <gasps> and then you're like, <sighs> like you've had that thing forever, and then you have to like get rid of it. I wish let it, it would go. Be Some, sometimes I think infinite. pens are in infinite in ink. If only. Yeah. yeah. I wish that was. That would be amazing. I saw this thing. It's called an infinite pencil, apparently, and Ooh. guess it d never runs out of uh, ink or something. I don't know. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Is it a pencil or like a lead pencil? It's a, a pen. pen. It's a pen. It's a pen. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you make an infinite pen. Um, what are three things that you're terrified the most? Spiders. <laughs> um, when I'm by myself or around people. Either. Yeah. Well, it changes. I, I hate <laughs> what, whatever. I hate when I'm alone. By yourself. Fine. By yourself. By myself. Okay. Um, I hate like weird silence. So like if I'm at my house and I know it's just me and my dogs, like something has to go in on the background, like music or a TV show. Wait, hold on. It just is weird. Let's I make an it. awkward silence. No, no. one talk. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to? Uh, what made you wanted to come to Sandersville? Um. So I have heard just the amazing things that happen here um, from like staff point of view, from the teachers here, and I just hear all around town about how amazing the kids were, and so I was like, that is where I want to be, and that is exactly where I am. When you were younger, what did you want to be if you if you didn't want to be a teacher? Well, <laughs> I'm going to be 100% honest with this one. Okay. <laughs> I've been honest with every question, I promise. But um, growing up. Are you up, sure? I have been. Okay. Right. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> um, growing up, I wanted to be the pink Power Ranger. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I can't believe that. Not the red one. one, not the yellow one, the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell by your jacket. <laughs> it was like, I, again, like oh I grew God. up with brothers, so I grew up watching the Power Rangers and Pokemon and like all that Pokemon, stuff. Pokemon, gotta catch it. And I remember waking up like Saturday mornings, like I couldn't watch anything else. It had to be the Power Rangers. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? If this is going to be my life, make it a part of my life. So the pink Power Ranger. No, okay. I, I can't laugh. Which clearly did not happen. <laughs> is, there, is there any electronics you certainly wanted to have? Growing up or now? Now or growing up. It doesn't really matter. Well, growing up, there wasn't really a lot around. Okay, fine. Things now. weren't portable. But now. now, ooh, maybe a tablet. Ooh. I think that would be kind of fun to have. So what's the gig? <laughs> On your um, class having new touchscreen computers, because my brother brought my home and I got kind of jealous. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think uh, kindergarten, first grade, and maybe second grade. Actually, no, I think it's just kindergarten, first grade has touch sc touch screen laptops, and they'll be able to. They actually fold all the way back to a tablet form. No, I'm jealous. Yeah. See. It's like you do it for the kindergartners and first graders, and then you never do it for the higher grades. It's like they're spoiled. Yeah, we have a, this is our last year. This is seriously what that? this is no fair. Well, you guys have a podcast. Still, yeah. this is no first fair. grade doesn't have a podcast. Still, you gotta have something over there. The <laughs> podcast and the touch screen would be perfect mm, for real. Maybe you should write a paper to Mr. Hamlin. Explaining all the reasons why you need one. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a sad thing. We have to stop and go. Is there anything else you would like to say? I don't know. Do you guys have any other questions? Um, Someone throw out a question. <laughs> um... Uh, it's no. fine. I, they finally told me what I needed to say. <laughs> so basically, so basically. Um, you need to like and subscribe to SharkCast. Like and subscribe. Right That's the right answer. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. Thank you, Ms. Holloman. <laughs> 
Hello everyone and welcome back to Sharkcast. This section is going to be about our play Annie we are doing. I am Addison, your amazing host, and I am here with um, her little sister, Nora. Yes, and we are going to talk about a little bit of Annie and who the cast is. So, for Annie and cast A, it's going to be Aubriana. And for Annie and cast B, it's going to be Nicole. For Molly and cast A, it's going to be Chris. Chrysler. Chrysler. And for Molly and Caspi, it's going to be Kanaya. And for Pepper and Caspi, it's going to be Eva. And for Pepper and Caspi, it's going to be Gianna. And for Duffy and Caspi, it's going to be Ellie. And for Duffy and Caspi, it's going to be Alyssa. And for July and Caspi, it's going to be Curviel. And for July and Caspi, it's going to be Rob Asante. For Tessie and Caspi, it's going to be Zoe. And for Tessie and Caspi, it's going to be Mina. For Kate and Caspi, it's going to be Elliot. And for Kate and Caspi, it's going to be Harper. And here's a lot. Um, for Cast A Orphans, it's going to be Jamila, Arajane, Cora, Shalia, Azra, Elizabeth, Tiana, Deborah, Kali- Kalia, Isabel, and Sophia. And for Cast B Orphans, it's going to be Amelia B, Giselle, Mia, Chloe, Savannah, Turley, Samaya, Savannah, Hawensi, ha- Ali, Amelia, Amelia, Amelia Myers, and Alexis. And for Miss Hannigan and Cast A, it's going to be me, Addison. And for Miss Hannigan and Cast B, it's going to be Beatrice. For Bundles and Cast A, it's going to be Tehosh. And for Bundles and Cast B, it's going to be Raymari. For Apple Seller and Cast A, it's going to be Raymari. And for ca- Apple Seller and Caspi, it's going to be Tay Hosh. For Sandy and Caspi, it's going to be Alexis. And for Sandy and Caspi, it's going to be Azra. For Lieutenant Ward and Cast A, it's going to be Crispin. And for Lieutenant Ward and Caspi, it's going to be Jordan. For Rooster Hannigan and Cast A, it's going to be Jackson. And for Rooster Hannigan and Caspi, it's going to be Jeremiah. I'll let you say this one. For Lily St. Rig. Um, in cast A, it's going to be me. And, well, Nora. And um, a Lily in cast B is going to be Claire. And Grace Farrell for cast A is going to be Haley. Hallie. Hallie. And for cast B, Grace Fel- Farrell is going to be Ava. For Oliver Warbucks in cast A, it's going to be Eli. Elin. Elin. <laughs> and for Oliver Warbucks in cast B, it's going to be Alpha. <laughs> For cast A for Drake, it's going to be Daniel. And for cast B and Drake, it's going to be Tejosh. For servants for cast A, it's going to be Tremel, John, Aaron, Tejosh, and Raymari. For servants in cast B, it's going to be Angelo, Daniel, Raymari, Aaron, and, jo- and John. And for stars to be in cast A, it's going to be Ava and Claire. And for stars to be in cast B, it's going to be me, Nora, and Howie. And for Usherettes in Cast A, it's going to be a Rajane. And for the Usherette in Cast B, it's going to be Jamila. For New Yorkers in Cast A, it's going to be Nicole, Kanaya, Gianna, Alyssa, Ravasante, Mina, Harper, Amelia, <laughs> Jazzy, Savannah T, Savannah T, Savannah H, Ali, Sam- Samaya, Amelia B, Alexis, Maya, and Chloe. Um, for the New Yorkers in Cast B, it's going to be Aubriana, Chrysler, Eva, Ellie, Curviel, Zoe, Elliot, Shem, is it Jamila? Yeah, Jamila. <laughs> Jamila, Cora, Elizabeth, Tiana, Deborah, Kaylin, Elizabeth, I- Isabel, Sophia, and Arashane. And for Bert Healy in Cast A, it's going to be Aaron. And for Bert Healy in Cast B, it's going to be Aaron. And for President Roosevelt in Cast A, it's going to be Angelo. And for President Roosevelt in Cast B, it's going to be Tremel. And the last, Lewis Howe is going Louis. to be in ca- Louis Howe in Cast A, it's going to be John. And for Louis Howe in Cast B, it's going to be Raymari. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye. Bye. This episode is in honor of fifth grade classmate Alexis Avon who has recently fallen under the weather. We wish you luck.